All right. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Uh, finally getting into this game. Seems like it took an eternity, but here we are at Temple of Anubis, the first salt map we've gotten since Horizon Lunar Colony uh, in week one. So got a little bit of a break from these last week, but here we are on Temple of Anubis and not a very popular pick. I don't know if we played it at all really last season. We're getting to see it here. Um, we really enjoyed the Horizon Lunar Colony. It really gives a wide gamut of what you can expect from these types of uh, maps either get those full holds or uh, really long drawn out multi round fights and i generally enjoy temple of anubis i know not a popular map among the community but here we are starting out the defenders here revenant on your left hand side it's fatty derp on it's in yada as berg goes mercy um artemis on reaper rich buffalo going arissa dr june moon on junkrat and void gamer going roadhog for the attackers sacred angels on the right hand side in red kyle gunner Diva, Junior Jellybop on Zenyatta, Ideal Saifu, Genji, Electric Slump on Tracer, Attackers King, uh, Gum, Gummy Rat, there we go, King Gummy Rat, we'll just call him King, or Rat, possibly Gummy, probably not, and Winston, Diva Mercy Maid, on Mercy. Pretty nimble attack, kind of a pseudo dive coming in from the attackers. Diva Mercy Maiden going on the obviously Mercy and set up Lucio. They don't quite have the speed coming through, but should be able to dive this back on quickly. However, they will be diving directly into a Reaper Junkrat Roadhog, so it could be in a very tough spot trying to engage this very settled in defensive comp from Revenant. Running from around the attacking right hand side, the defenders not too perturbed. And now it's a tracer in behind the side of this track with a good pull early on Void Game. We'll pick up side blue, that's exactly what the defenders needed to delay the attack coming through. Uh, now they're a little bit split. I believe it's a diva behind them and separated from the team as the rest of the Sacred Angels goes around that attacking right hand side. The ball slapped the Void Gamer, and now the attackers are kind of paying the movie a little bit too slowly, and the defenders are very aware of where they are. They may just shut them down. It's like a retreat. I don't know if they're aware that Gummy Rad with Diva Mercy made up here on the side, but, but now it's uh, Artemis on the Reaper, aware of their presence, and <laughs> Diva Mercy may be caught in a tough spot, but the rest of the team didn't quite focus that Mercy down, and yeah, I think she will be able to escape. So, um, now back to square one for either side, Fatty Rivers will take Lethal as Kyle down out of the mech, and that'll be an essential pick once again for them. Looking pretty good from Revenant, ult building quickly, one of which here, it's gonna be Dr. Jumin, probably the first two in ult for either side. Electric Slump very close for Sacred Angels with a Pulse Bomb. We yeah, have another pull on the side. We're getting a little bit too close to that Void Gamer Roadhog. Onto the point now. It's a bit of a late contention coming through. They're not a tick just yet. Jimmy oh, yeah. still looking good on the jump. Ready to pull a couple of gummy right getting the mix as well. Nice. A uh, bomb there from this jump red. And that turns out it's coming through, but it will actually not save anybody should this tire connect. Maybe waiting for the transition to expire, did just that, and goes for it. He's in Yada, good pull there. A good pickup there from June Moon, just to continue to delaying the attack here from Sacred Angels. Looks like Revenant is cleaning up, and that will be a retreat once more for the attackers. So impressive from them, the ultimate um, took a while to connect. June Moon looked for the perfect opportunity to wait for the transcendence to go down. It's nice patience there, just to ensure you get that healer down, and able to help win that fight. The rest of the team getting in there as well, too shut down the attack slowly but surely and like i said not quite as nimble as maybe they want to be they're having a hard time getting through as quickly as they'd like and as a result i'm just kind of making them pay for it now the dive coming in once more from king gummy rap but now the whole hard void game which will repel him it's another valkyrie now coming through from both sides burn and deep and me, trying to keep each of their teams up as a self-destruct from three vets and how kind of grabs a good double including burn who still have valkyrie so smart here from the attacker still getting the kills a slump within the mix but kyle gunner still cleaning up on the diva Solid wrap up for him with the last representative here for Revenant. 121 on the clock as the rest comes through to Electric Slump. Solid cap from the attackers. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! <laughs> yeah, good push from Sacred Angels. Revenant was giving them a bit of a hard time, but finally able to get the kills they needed to shut down that stingy defense. And Sacred Angels coming around there, attacking right hand side once more to engage this defensive point. A few ultimates for the defense will have to be aware of, including Fatty Derp's Transcendence, which could shut down Ideal Saibu's Dragon Blade, so they want to bait that out before they engage the point. 
Again, steady, slowly but surely from the right hand side. Electric Slump getting caught in the back, but the pulse bomb will connect otherwise. Very able to get the resin on that Zenyatta and Revenant's back to a full six. Now, with Death Blossom from Artemis, will catch a few from Mercy Main, but the reflect back will take him down. It's pretty even from both sides, but the defenders, Revenant, have the shorter respawn, so they're not really too bothered by this, you know, the remaining attackers. How kind of will get staggered here, and they'll just let that Diva stay alive as long as she's not bothering anybody. The terrible stagger here. That's just that. And it's painful to watch as the rest of the team coming back through. They'll have to wait for that D.Va or suffer a 6v5 engage. And not where you want to be. Still two ultimates for the defenders. The supercharger from Rich Buffalo looking to keep everybody up as a few more ultimates are on the way. Void Gamer and Dr. June Moon um, right outside the what you could call close range. But as I say, that Void Gamer already 97% to a... Uh, or actually, it's just D.Va. I need a mech back. 42 to an ultimate, so it'll be June Moon probably getting one back for the defenders first. Um, but also starting to build that for the attackers as well. Still the Dragon Blade available as Jelly Bob for the Transcendent Zone. Good coming out. And once more, Transcendent Grip. Fantastic Transcendent Spike Talk. Fatty Grip getting healing in on his team to avoid that Dragon Blade. Dr. June Moon answering one back with the Deadeye and Rev. It looks like they're still pulling up. But Kyle Cunner, not if he has anything to say about it, will grab one. Uh, maybe we're going to get a little bit more of the Supercharger down, but I don't think you really consider that wasted as Revenant will clean up the point here. And spacing out their ultimates really well, you see Bird 5% away to a Valkyrie Void Gamer now has the self-destruct. So they're, um, I guess both sides really kind of pacing themselves, not committing too many ultimates to the fight. I like to see that patience from both sides. Patty Derp, fun to watch on Zenyatta as a Zenyatta made myself. Like seeing uh, his playstyle. style. now getting dope a little bit in the back line, able to get away from King Gummy Rat getting help from his tanks. And they may just shut down that Wits in the back. Swapping straight to the side as Artemis and Electric Slump fall. The Transcendence coming through though from Dr. Jelly or Junior Jelly Bob trying to catch a couple and Void Gamer though will grab Mercy Man and Side Boot with that self struck. So still looks like the defenders once more wrapping up. Sacred Vein looks having a hard time breaking through this defense. Fatty Derp able to get his opposite as Void Gamer cleans up Kyle Gunner. They'll leave him out of mech and get back to point. Two minutes and 18 seconds for the attackers. We saw a slow push from them and finally able to break through on the first point. Without the respawn advantage though on this side, it could be a little bit more difficult. They may not have the advantage of um, you know, a single mistake by the defenders. So they'll need to be a little bit it's more consistent on the first down. It's going to be difficult for FAP to get back into mech quickly. Ooh, does go down and now a firm 65. Revenant very, very tight and organized in their attack. I'm like, like I'm seeing right here from the defenders. Now Fatty Drip going down though. Electric Slump able to take down that defender in the back. The Pulse Bomb coming through doesn't fall, uh, doesn't connect with anybody rather. But now the contention still coming from Electric Slump all by himself and trying to get to the Mega underneath. The rest of the team piling back through and that Tracer will get away. Shatter available for Rich Buffalo just begging for the opportunity to use it as the rest of Sacred just comes at a point. Under a minute now as the Valkyrie comes out from the Verge just to keep everybody again on their feet. A little bit of damage boost coming through. The Shatter completely falls about flat though for King Gummy right on the other side directly into a May Wall. They won't have the advantage. But it's going to be a Shatter on the other side from Rich Buffalo. Picks up some of the damage Void Gamer adds two more with a double kill. But as the Res comes through onto Reinhardt, he's completely surrounded by the Revenant defenders. It's pinned by Rich Buffalo. And kept 30 seconds remaining. Still ultimates favor the defenders, and members of the attack still continue to fall as Artemis grabs one on the Legend Slump. It's been a really, really solid defensive again from Revenant. We saw a late successful push from Sacred Angels on the first point. We'll see if they can replicate that here, but they really need to move quickly as it's less than 10 seconds on the clock. Trying to come through the self destruct may initiate for them. Doesn't catch anyone, though, as a shield from Rich Buffalo stays strong. The May Wall will block off a couple and is trying to be a late. Contention coming in from the attackers. Now the transcendence through just to get back to the point to get everybody up. The transcendence from the other side of the fatty grip though. Will keep Revenant on their feet as the pulse bomb lands, but doesn't kill anybody again. Revenant continuing to clean up, looking very good from them, and I don't think Sacred Angels will have the opportunity to get anybody back in a point for this. Yeah, solid team kill here from Revenant. Making a statement here on defense, it was uh, pretty pretty good defense from them. One successful attack overall, and it, it didn't really look dodgy. It was the one uh, one defense that they lost right on the first point, but you kind of expect that on these assault maps kind of designed that way to benefit the attackers, but very comfortable defense from Revenant on uh, the second point.
we'll see what kind of attack they have sacred angels know they have two get full hold here to get something out of this game or uh, you know look for the draw but revenant looking i think the side with a slight upper hand Comps for both sides starting to shape up. Defenders Vader Derp again going on the Zenyatta joined by his support partner Burr on Mercy. Artemis now on Genji. Used to seeing that from him. Went May on the first round to great effect, but now trying out the Manic Ninja. Rich Buffalo again also more mobile on Winston. Dr. Jun Moon going Hanzo. Void Gamer on Diva. For the defenders. Mikhail Gunner on the Roadhog, Junior Jelly Bob again on the on the Zenyatta, and the El Saifu now going Junkrat. Electric Slump on Sombra, I like that. You know, the Sombra plays out here. You can definitely control that right side mega Attackers with the hack and just allow the attackers to push into that room, realize they really don't have a lot of help, and you know, get him down with all the damage you get from Saifu. And Gummy Rat on Arissa. Arissa, you kind of expect that on a new list, seems like a pretty solid mainstay here. Even Mercy Main on Mercy. Nice ball and chain defense from Sacred Angels, and again, they're looking to replicate strong defense from Revenant, and probably exceed it to some extent to take something, like I said, away from this game. Waiting for an opportunity to engage, they'll have to be quick, they don't want to take too much of that poke damage, which Buffalo with a bubble down will help them get through the right hand side. Trying to avoid that mega that uh, I don't know if they are even could be aware of the attack for electric slump waiting for anybody that wants to come on that right hand side. If they did know, now they do know. She's got that top mega and hacked Rich Buffalo. Getting a little bit focused down, probably as Translocator out, but did not have one away from the point. Focused down quickly, and now it's a 6v5 for Revenant, the attackers. But as I say, that Burr and the rest of the attack hasn't really come through the choke. Suffers forward as they lose that mercy. They're still waiting here at the choke while they've got. Rich Buffalo in the back on the he wins and has to retreat to join up with his team and better than trying to take the fight on the point alone, but I think Rev engage a little bit more quickly and can find a little bit of success. That's good. That would organize everybody here on the right. Saifu's aware of their existence and will try and get him then cause problems. Now in the back on the Jelly Bob as Rich Buffalo diving through and will get the kill onto the Zenyatta. Both supports down now for Sacred Angels. You expect Revenant to really push the point as they've got a significant advantage. A third down, they lose one, but it's still going to be a 5 and a 3, I believe. Trying to focus down Gummy Rat. The EMP from Slump too far away as that, that just falls to DPS and not able to get in through. And about a minute longer on the clock for Revenant and Sacred Angels. We'll see if that extra minute will give them what they need to take this second point. But they know they've got at least a draw to this match, so a strong push from Revenant, looking to wrap up the game here on Temple of Anubis in a short order. I will say ultimates though, advantage the defenders. Saifu with a rip tire that we know can disrupt attacks pretty quickly. Gummy Rat with a supercharger, which sometimes can be all you need to push the fight over the line and get you the damage to take down your opponents. Burr with the Valkyrie on the other side will have the Transcendence before I finish this sentence. Artemis very close to a Dragon Blade as well, so Revenant could come in with some force. I expect Saifu to use that Rip Tire pretty quickly, just maybe preemptively as Revenant trying to engage, but in here on the front lines, using the Defense Major from Kyle Gunner to get some damage in through the defensive right. As Revenant trying to come through, now they're engaged, going straight for that Mercy, and she's low, but is able to get away. It's a nice movement from Diva Mercy Maid. Still hasn't fallen, trying to pick everybody up, but now members of Revenant falling quickly. Artemis on the Dragon Blade, trying to catch a couple of the feet completely going blue for Revenant. And it's just Kyle on the left, fighting for his life, out of mech now, and will be shut down as Revenant starts to wrap up very quickly here on Anubis. But the Valkyrie trying to get everybody back to point won't quite work for them. They only needed a tick. Even Mercy Main can't quite get there, and Revenant take the first point in the Temple of Anubis. shots there playing really well and all the way around revenant a very comfortable win from them 
the next map coming up is Ilios, and sometimes, like you know, what, like we've seen, I think we all know that that first game doesn't really mean a lot. See teams come back in the second game after they settled nerves a little bit. We'll see if that is the case for Sacred Angels. We come back. And welcome back to OXC uh, week three Revenant one up over Sacred Angels after a win on Temple of Anubis and looking very strong go on to Ilios and quickly as uh, I do not control the game so we are already ready to go and um, yeah excited about this game so far we kind of recap that last one like I said Revenant looking very good on their attack and um, really kind of took Sacred Angels to task trying to come in and attack that point really strong defense from Revenant and then their attack came through very strongly and was able to brush aside the defense here from um, from Sacred Angel so and we'll see what they have for us now team switch sides though it doesn't really matter for Ilios the first control point uh, we did see I believe that was, was that Oasis earlier in uh, week two I believe that was an, it was an, it was at Nepal there we go in week two and saw that control point now getting another one here ideal legends for sacred angels on the left in blue going diva junior jelly bop and luzio getting that speed to point saifu on the mccree Five, slump joining four, the dps department three, on the tracer two, gummy rat one, on winston diva mercy made again Capture going mercy or revenant the red team on the right hand side fatty derp switching off that zenyatta now going lucio again for that speed coming through brigida now available in the league as she is available in comp Played by Bear, Artemis going Tracer, Rich Buffalo again on Reinhardt, so I'm played that very well on Anubis. Genie on the McCree, Void Gamer going Zarya. Electric Slump already finding Genie on the field, a bit difficult to deal with, has to recall and retreat back to the safety of the team. Fight break now here as the control point will open up shortly. Ideal Legends giving a kill early, but Slump will fall for his team, so. Going back and forth, this coming right picks up another kill on Jimmy. A little bit of the advantage goes to Sacred Angels, but no one's really got too much of the point just yet. Looks like Sacred Angels really are, yeah, they look like they have the most members here. Looking strong from them, with these targets down. Now we're going to momentum turn to swing up very early Earth Shot here, coming from Fish Buffalo, and impressive to see that, uh, that ultimate coming out so early on. Jumping off with a early ultimate of his own, using the sound barrier just to get everybody up. Control point starting to dart back and forth. A little bit red, a little bit blue. Can't quite make up his mind as the fight continues to break out. Toby seems really contesting as the sound barrier comes out from the other side. The fatty there helping keep everyone on Revenant up. Now, the third of the point goes their way, but now it's Sacred Angels back on to take it. Another third of their own. I think they will grab a point though. Getting very, very close, but Revenant coming back in trying to engage them. <laughs> now it looks like Revenant has the advantage. So, what an early first fight here on Ilios. Nobody really able to decide who wants it. It will be finally Revenant who take it. And, oh man, exhausting. Ultimate still favor 
the point attackers though as Sacred Angels come back in, so that can give a dead eye slump with a pulse bomb to the Mercy Man with a Valkyrie, hoping that he decide to engage. Jewel in trouble on the left to start to focus it down, has to pull back. As Jelly Bomb gets a kill though, that will be the initiation from Sacred Angels to come back in. Pulse bomb with electric slump makes it a 6v4. And you expect the blue team to really start to swarm the point. They do just that, trying to catch Jewel in on the back, but that dead eye could catch them out with nasty vocal drops. Ideal Legends picking up some kills, they'll decide to do it, I think, without alts, and the point goes the way of Sacred Angels. A strong push from them, I guess Steven Mercy Man may have used the Valkyrie, I didn't hear it, but uh, may have come out. But still, a lot of ultimates on the way for Sacred Angels, they'll be in a very good spot for this next engagement. Though, as I say, that Burr, 1% away to a Rally, Void Gamer, 5% to a... Uh, Graviton Surge, so they could combine with Artemis' Pulse Bomb and shut down the Sacred Angels before they really get anything going. Actually, they decide to go with that Pulse Bomb a la carte, Artemis falling flat there. They lose the opportunity to use that, but the Rally will help him engage. Jimu picking up Electric Slump early, and members start to fall immediately for Sacred Angels as Revy really come back at the point. Primal Rage from King Gummyrad trying to catch a couple out. And they find one kill on the Fish Buffalo, and it's going to be beneficial for Sacred Angels, but I still think it's Revenant with some of that advantage. Ooh, you know, yeah, mm. yeah, really hard to say, but I will say Revenant getting the kills that he finally will be able to put this point back. Really back and forth here, he's 49%, 50% gone now, four Sacred Angels as the 35% Revenant start to come back in and assert themselves onto the point. Often still favor the defenders, but Magic Slump will switch off the May going jump right for the, uh, for, uh, Sacred Angels. Ooh, now the Deadeye coming out here from Saifu hasn't caught anybody just yet, still looking for an opportunity and nobody wants to poke him. Has to use it and doesn't connect with anybody, but the Fatty Derp at Sound Barrier now is trying to keep everybody on Revenant up, but they weren't able to use that to get back onto the point as Sacred Angels takes back over. 62-53 now as the kills really start to go the way of Revenant, they should be able to flip this right back. At 59% now, four Sacred Angels at 64% for Revenant, and again going back and forth from both these sides. Even Mercy Man getting caught out, and that's a good stagger from Void Gamer. Trying to get that Mercy out of the fight, is able to do so. They get Ideal Legends back in mech and back out. Again, smart from them just to try and keep the fight swinging their favor, knowing it's going to take a little bit longer to get that Baby Diva back up, and they only have 20% to do it, so they don't want to give a lot of poke damage to Ideal Legends. Taking matters into his own hands going, but now isolated, they could get caught out. Artemis in the back for Revenant, again trying to cause some problems, it's 97% of the point gone, Sacred Angels really need to get onto the point, they do just that for the overtime, the sound barrier coming through from Jelly Bob, trying to keep everybody from Sacred Angels on their feet, give them a little bit more strength coming into point, they've got the rally from Birdie contend with though on the other side, the Brigida really causing some issues, but may get down a little bit, there goes Void Gamers, uh, Graviton Surge able to clean up quite a few, fantastic wrap up here from uh, Revenant, looking very solid. Yeah, members on fire and finally able to wrap up there towards the end. A uh, fantastic Graviton timed well from Void Gamer and able to really shut down most of that attack. Caught, I think, three or four people in that Graviton Surge. Impressive there. So now looking to take this game completely. They only need the win on this second round here to take the game. Still play the third map, Hollywood, for map points. Definitely a crucial part of the standings this season. Sacred Angels will again want to take something out of this game. But like I said, they won in week one after coming well from behind. And they got a 3-0 win in week two. So they're they don't want to see that first loss of the season this early on. They're really looking to get the win and they're used to come from behind victory. So this is the opportunity for Sacred Angels to really grab the game and you know make that Hollywood map something meaningful. Coming in quickly, Fatty Dope again on the Lucio. They got Lucios for both sides. The Jelly Bob sticks onto the Brazilian too. Get everybody to point with some pace plus the boop opportunities. Should be a fun round. See if the fights break out as long as they did on the last one. There's the first of which Fatty Derp able to get Diva Mercy Main and swaps for either side as the support goes down. Slump will take down the uh, Fatty Derp though. So both supports down now for Revenant. The kill still going the way of Sacred Angels as they've got the dominance on the point and will wrap it up first. Good response from them after losing on the first round. And they'll look to 
kind of barricade themselves somewhat. They've got Gummy Rat on the Reinhardt to try and keep a lot of the damage from coming through. If they can isolate members of Revenant, then they have a really good opportunity to take all these team fights. But like we've seen Revenant do, you know, last season, season before that, earlier in this, just even in this game, grouping up really well, staying tight, and they can be difficult to break apart. So. I think Sacred Angels have the comp to do so. Ideal Saifu and Electric Slump have a lot of damage and can really disrupt comps and tank breakers and to break through the dive coming in from Rich Buffalo and Void Gamer. Now as the next engagement breaks out though, still a good defense here from Sacred Angels trying to hold on to their plot of land to the point as much as possible. The engagement now coming through from Artemis isn't able to catch anybody as no one's dropped just yet, but Burr is very low. Now they Death Blossom from Saifu because June Moon, two members going down to Sacred Angels, have the 6v4 advantage, trying to clean up the rest of these kills. Members of Revenant a little bit uh, mobile, I think, just trying to get away. They actually may be able to completely reset, but now caught in the back, Saifu could get caught up by this Genji and is going to swing the other direction. And yeah, the rest of the members of Sacred Angels didn't follow in, and Revenant just absorbed a lot of that damage, got two kills. Now they have the momentum coming into the point. I mean, very aggressively, Artemis getting the kill on the Jelly Bob. Void Gamer wrapping up. Ideal Legends and Revenant will take over the point. Yeah, really impressive from Revenant, um, knowing when to reset allowing Sacred Angels to overextend a little bit, then punishing them for it to take that point right back. That's what you like to see. And they were able to take that point back without using any ultimates. They're going to come into this next fight with about six ultimates once Bird picks up this rally. They will have four or five on the other side to contend with, but the fact that they didn't have to, after giving up 77% of the point, didn't have to come and take with ultimates, and they still have some to fight with in this next team fight is significant. Sacred Angels, though, not willing to mess around. They've got a lot of time to work with and did defend the point very well up until this point. Now the Celtic Strike coming through will actually catch Saifu, so they won't have that Reaper there on the point. Kill still going the way of Revenant. They're able to clean up pretty, yeah, pretty fast. Uh, the Rally helping keep everybody up is now Fatty Derp adds a little bit more support with the Sound Barrier. Roger Jimmy looking to catch a couple and will finally find two. Both supports now down for Sacred Angels as it's three ultimates used and a point cleanup for Revenant. Well play from them. They did need to commit a few ultimates there, but they've got a couple to work with, and definitely stalling ultimates from Rich Buffalo, and uh, just kind of attack shutdown ultimates from Artemis. They will have Jelly Bob's sound barrier to work with, so uh, to work against. So they'll have to be aware of that. But um, it's still Sacred Angels looking pretty good, and with position come back to the point. A fantastic shatter from Gummy Rat. We'll catch a couple, but the rest of the team looking to follow through. Slump catches one on June Moon, and now it's going to be a um, Artemis. Dragon Blade trying to catch a couple with the Primal Rage from Rich Buffalo out as well as able to catch Gummy Red. Kill's still going the way of Revenant. They got control of the point and now the advantage. But now it looks like the points are starting to cap back the other way as they finish up the rest of the fight. Now they turn their attention to Saifu who's trying to distract him maybe a little bit but be able to take him down. And I don't know if the Sacred Angels will have enough time to contest this point before the timer goes off. 97%, 98, we'll see if they can get there, Gummy Rat was the closest, couldn't quite catch it, that's Revenant, winning in week 3, going up 2-1 and one in the rival tier, and what a solid win from them. Very impressive from Revenant, looking good. Play of the game. Graviton at the end of the first round here on Ilios, able to really shut down. The Zelda Struck wasn't quite able to catch anybody back for Sacred Angels, and that was really just a good team cleanup from Revenant, again getting the majority of those cards, but we'll see if Sacred Angels again can get a map point back on Hollywood. Map point's crucial for them, and they will look to kind of get back in the saddle, so to speak, when we come back. Okay. Oh, I think we probably cycled through 10 people trying to get somebody who would start this game. I really appreciate your patience, you guys, coming into Hollywood for the third game of the Rivals here in Week 3 between Revenant and Sacred Angels. Revenant getting the win up to nothing, and Hollywood just a map points and pride game here for Sacred Angels. So, see if they can turn it around here and get a win. 
and coming into this game 2-0, so getting the first loss of the season, but we know that we, they have it in them to get a little bit out of this, so see what they can do. Now on Hollywood coming in here for the defenders, it's Sacred Angels, Junior Jelly Bob on the Zenyatta, Ideal Riot going Junkrat, first appearance in this game. Ideal Saifu going on the Soldier as Kyle Gunner picks up Brigida. Uh, King Gummy right now on the Orisa as Diva Mercy made again on the Mercy. Fills out that support role. Attack for the attackers incoming. on the right hand side here, Revenant, Artemis, we'll see on the Farah, Fatty Derp. With Burr in the support role, now going Morbra. With you Burr on the Mercy. First Buffalo playing the Reinhardt. Dr. June Moon going Hanzo. We saw some solid Hanzo play on Anubis. We're going to see more of that here. It's Void Gamer. We've got a really good Graviton on Ilios. Plays Zarya once more. be a cafe defense here from sacred angels the concussion mind though able to push everybody back off the point and they'll have to drop into the cafe that could be the attack that they need to get through here fatty they're able to get the kill on diva mercy main just with the orb coming through and now it's going to be an advantage for revenant the attackers expect them to come in very strongly now it's been a concerted effort from them as kyle gunner falls for sacred angels another member falls both supports down here for the blue team and revenant clean up incredibly quickly Yeah, one and done for Revenant, able to capture that point without much resistance. No ultimates on the board, but now the defenders look to regroup and stop them in the streets phase. Still haven't seen anybody on the payload portion, so this will be the first opportunity that we get to see these teams in this match at least. Spending and attacking a payload, so that really could be the advantage for Sacred Angels. Maybe that's a, a map type that's best for them, so to speak, and this second portion of this hybrid could favor them. Artemis 4 Revenant still trying to get damage in from above, separating out Diva Mercy Maid from the rest of the team and looking for another support. Typhoon sticking with that Zenyatta just to keep him up. King Gummy Rad will answer one back, taking down Jin Moon on the Hanzo, so that'll be helpful for the defenders. They really start to clean up the kills now, as now it's Fatty Derp down. We do have that respawn advantage, but I like the aggressive defense coming out here from Sacred Angels. Just trying to push back Revenant a little bit and regroup. His attack's been a little relentless coming at them, so. You know, able to win that fight and collect themselves will be essential but now damage coming back in barrage so to speak from artemis able to get damage into the back line without that shield doom been able to take down ideal right who i think was trying to use an ultimate but uh, falls flat there and falls as well fatty derby able to get the kill on the king gummy rat so kill starting to go the way of revenant is a shatter from Rich Buffalo once more like we've seen before, coming in swinging big, getting damage through. There's one person on the payload helping to push it back, but Revenant, led here by Rich Buffalo, will swing down, get a ton of these kills, and it's a solid payload push so far once more. Revenant, um, just metaphorically and literally not slowing down in their attack on the Hollywood. Sacred Angels trying to hold strong here, King Gummy Rat. Using the supercharger right there behind the shield, trying to keep everybody up. The tactical visor combined with that damage. Saifu trying to get some damage through, but the coalescence, the tactical visor from Saifu melting everybody, even though that Graviton came out from Void Gamer. What a kill there from Saifu. Solid defense from Sacred Angels, and again, the payload defense, like we said, could be their advantage. Looking very strongly in the second section. I think that's two team fights to be able to clean up, and Revenant once more have to regroup. Just the one ultimate, the Rocket Barrage here, but they've got Saifu who has a tactical visor that could take down that Farah. We'll see if Hardimus decides to switch after using that ultimate. 
Junior Jelly Bob on the Zenyatta could make it difficult with Discord Orbs to stay regardless, so expect that switch to come through. It's going to be a Graviton for Sacred Angels, however. The Wasted One from Void Gamer for the attack um, kind of fell flat for them, but hoping to use the one here uh, for Sacred Angels to win another team fight. So waiting for an opportunity to use this barrage. It's a bit of a delayed attack here from Revenant, not what we're used to seeing, but maybe bewildered by this strong defense from Sacred Angels. They really haven't seen uh, too regularly up to this point, but now getting the kills, Kyle Gunner dropping with the, the Graviton in his pocket. That'll be a difficult loss for them. The Rocket Barrage just ready to go off here from Artemis. Able to catch one, looks for another, but Kyle Gunner with that low altitude will take down the Pharah. Again, we expect that switch, but the payload's still pretty stagnant here for the attackers. Revenant haven't been able to make a lot of progress, and even though they've got the kills, they've kind of forgotten it behind them. So, finally pushing forward now, but there will be enough time for the rest of the defenders to come back through. Deal right, spamming a little bit on the left. It looks like Artemis will actually stay on the Pharah. Push Buffalo with another shot, like we've seen in a few matches. Or a few uh, games in this match. Doing a really good job of finding opportunities to use that shatter effectively. Looks to do so again here. It's King Gummy Rat on the Reinhardt for the other side, and seen them go back and forth a little bit until this point. I think Wish Buffalo, Buffalo took their earlier bout, but Sacred Angels has had a stronger payload defense than we've seen on the other map types. No, I'd say Ilios did go kind of back and forth. I think they had a lot of advantage there as well. Now maybe able to get in behind. Again, looking for space to use that shadow. Nothing out just yet. And Cypher will take advantage of Rich Buffalo, who maybe was caught a little bit overextended. Sacred Angels once more winning this team fight. And it's not played. And they've got four ultimates. Almost five with Burge Valkyrie in the way to work with. The attackers look to come in strongly. But they've only got about a minute and a half. The Deadeye will catch two, even with Kyle Gunner in his face. As Dr. June Moon starts to swing the pendulum Revenant's direction. He'll still come through, through as Void Gamer gets the damage that uh, Rich Buffalo is uh, able to help out with, combining there. And back to the payload as they continue to push around the corner. Heal from range, Artem is able to take down King Gummy Rats. They won't have that Reinhardt and a lot of momentum now coming into the final checkpoint. Rez coming through though from Diva Mercy Man, able to keep that Reinhardt back into the fight. It's going to be a solid transcendence though coming out here from Junior. That Jelly Bob very smart to negate the Kyle Gunner Transcendence. Artemis though, or Kyle Gunner, uh, or Void Gamer, Graviton, wow if I can talk, but still a strong push here from Revenant, they're very close to capping this point, it's starting to fall apart a little bit for Sacred Angels, and with time on the clock they're able to cap that very strong from Revenant, and delayed a little bit, but yeah, looking very good here on Hollywood like they have on the previous two maps. Again, Revenant pushing strongly. Already up 2 nothing in this game. Looking to make it a 3-0 sweep here on Hollywood after a sh impressive first push. They've got just under a minute on the clock. So a lot of time to work with should Sacred Angels cap this point. Draw a strong point defense though on Temple of Anubis from Revenant. So see if they replicate that here. Or if Sacred Angels can push through and show us what they've got on a payload attack. Now coming out here for Revenant's defense, it's Artemis on the Soldier. Fatty Derp again back on the Transcendence, or they're back on the Zenyatta route, that's what I like to see. Her on the Anna, Rich Buffalo on Reinhardt, Dr. Junior on Hanzo, Void Gamer on Zarya. It's, looks like a strong defense from them. It's going to be Jelly Bop on Zenyatta for the attackers. Ideal Riot again going Junkrat as Cypher picks up the, the Zarya. Al Gunner on Diva, Gummy Rat going. Reinhardt, Demon Mercy main on Moira. A triple tank comp. A uh, bit of a new look, you know? You see the damage there, they don't have the speed you generally get from maybe a Lucio in this comp, but Zen can definitely work for the damage. 
We'll just have to kind of death ball this through. Oh, there's the Lucio here from the other option to keep everybody speedy in through. And that's a more traditional triple tank on this kind of point. I mean, strongly and quickly. I like that. Trying to break through the choke and may be able to do just that as it's Kyle Gunner on the high ground on the Diva trying to take the space there that Revenant's giving them onto the point quickly and we could see just as quick of an attack from Sacred Angels. Oh, good sleep though from Burr onto King Gummer to catch him out and we'll see if the rest of Revenant can follow through. They're getting the kills they need regardless without that Reinhardt shield up and probably smarter just to let him sleep, doing very solid here. And a smart sleep dart there from Burr to shut down that attack and take the linchpin out of their push. You're covered. Don't see a lot of Ana players in the league. Nice to see Barry here playing a little bit of Ana. Want to get a lot of support love. I know I'm talking about um, the supports here for Revenant that I really have been doing a fantastic job. And uh, like I said, Fatty Derp doing well. For the other side, Diva Mercy main um, for Sacred Angels. Very evasive. Jelly Bob, that versatility able to switch off to a lot of different heroes, not about his team. Now the sleep jar goes right here for Burr caught in top spot as I realized that Anna could be essential, but now it's a and Anna boost came through. I'm not sure who exactly that went to, but now it's gonna be the Graviton coming out from Void Gamer. Not quite able to clean up though as Burr is able to get the kill onto Ideal Riot. Still members dropping here for Sacred Angels. Kyle Gunner out of mech and will fall. Once again, it's Revenant wrapping up the kills they needed. About half the time gone, it's 2 minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. Four Sacred Angels trying to come back at a point, but it's a strong stagger on Jelly Bob and to Saifu. That will mean it's a uh, 4v6. Four Sacred Angels trying to come into the point, so we'll have to wait for the rest of the team members, and that's just going to eat time off the clock. Ideal Riot looking for the high ground. Will contest it with June Moon, and will they be able to push him off? In a tough spot, though. It's a fatty derp on the Zenyatta trying to give him some issues and keep him from poking. Get a little bit of help from his team and will finally use the rear tire. But a little bit expo exposed and you maybe see if it will drop down there. But the Graviton combined, we'll see if, oh, nope. We do been able to take down that tire and keep it because that was looking like it was going to be a really solid combo from them. Not quite able to wrap up as the kills still go the way of Revenant. It's like we'll play into one back. Kyle Gunner does the same kill swapping, but Revenant still looking good on the defense. The Shadow coming through catches a couple, but the Rev the Graviton once more from Void Gamer catch a few Burr in with the purple as King Gummy Red slept once more. But as you say, that's still getting kills they need. It looks like they're starting to wrap up here. They have a tick on the point with 60 seconds to go. Jelly Bob with the sound barrier that will be a wrap up, I think, for Sacred Angels and at the death, able to take space here on Hollywood and grab this first point. See how their payload attack is, 3 minutes and 22 seconds, so time bank a little bit against them, but a strong push does give them a little bit they can really hold on to in this game. Strong attack here from Sacred Angels, but that's what they're looking for, trying to get through this streets phase and you know, take this into multiple rounds, it could give them the advantage. Uh, Ideal Riot doing just that, taking down June move, but now as Kyle Gunner's out of mech, bit of a swap for them. Another nano here for Burr and the Shatter from Rich Buffalo could combine well to shut down this attack. On the other side, it's a coalescence trying to keep the tanks alive here for Sacred Angels. They stick with the triple tank. Ideal Riot switching to the Reaper now. It's a nano boost coming through. And Fatty Deer could a good double here. Getting the mix as well. The rest of Sacred Angels having to back up as Rich Buffalo taking no prisoner, swinging big and able to get a couple kills. Getting healed well, takes down his officer Reinhardt, looking for another, but will back off and let Ideal Riot retreat to his team. Buffalo's been playing spectacular on the Reinhardt. I've enjoyed watching him come through and just, you know, be aggressive and the healing that he's getting allows him to be aggressive, so it's been good from Revenant all the way around. Damage through Fatty Derp trying to get a little bit more of that poke damage has the transcendence, but I, you know, Zenyatta does do quite a bit of damage and able to find a little bit of a gap there. The attack now starting to push the payload. It's a good push from them, just pushing back Revenant, kind of causing issues for them. to self-destruct coming through, not as well placed as maybe they would have liked, and that 
ultimate will kind of go awry. King Gummy Rat's purple and now well into the back line. Could find himself in a tough spot. It's going to be another ultimate coming through. Both self-destructs coming out from both sides. And neither one landing. But Revenant still getting the kills they need to wrap up this fight. And we saw Jelly Bob on the high ground trying to wall ride his way out of here. It may just make it out, but actually just get caught by Wood Gamer. Good stagger again from Revenant. And yeah, Sacred Angels with now 60 seconds. A lot to play for here. I'm looking for the map win, but Revenant not really giving them anything for free. And they're having to really just earn every single inch of this payload. attacking around the outside to see the expectation here from the defenders coming through the center and your cameraman as well but you get me right now onto the payload continue to push it revenant will have to pull back we've got five ultimates to work with four for the attackers almost five is ideal right we'll pick up the death blossom so it should be an all-out brawl here and what could be the last fight of the game Nobody falling just yet. The just really a skirmish all over the place. Ideal Riot falling immediately, and that ultimate will had not been able to benefit from. The shadow coming through catches a couple. Even Mercy Man again going down. As the, the Nano Boost going into Rich Buffalo will give him quite a bit of a boost. He's able to take, enough to take down the support, but doesn't look like they're a little bit scattered actually. Well, maybe not the rest of the team. It's just going to be Rich Buffalo out there just swinging away, getting kills, looking for. The last minute contention they will be able to get on here ideal side who on the zarya getting into points but now dr june moon's dragon strike discourages any additional attackers and you're right trying to use the death loss but it won't quite connect to self-destruct even if it does get anybody from the opposing team what matters revenant gets the 3-0 win and very strong for them in week three Here with the Dragon Blade able to catch a couple kills as Revenant rolled in through this third point, a little bit of time on the clock. Very strong from them. Anubis looks solid. Ilios, very strong. And wrapping up here on Hollywood. They'll take this 2 1 and feel really good about it. The 2 1 going the other way, though, as Sacred Angels get their first loss of the season, will feel a little bit more bitter. We'll get some post game thoughts and look ahead to see if we can get this double header, get the second game on stream. We come back.